Network Security Virtual Private Networks Authentication Part 2 We want to discuss two-factor authentication. Today, if you want to make a VPN connection more secure, by the way, this, this two-factor authentication topic applies to many other solutions and places. For instance, if you want to connect to your online banking, two-factor authentication, it means that we have two stages to verify the identity. In most cases, it is something you know and something you have. Something you know, it can be a password in most cases, and something you have, for instance, a certificate, a, mess, a text message on your mobile phone, or a special small security token. I want to show you a solution that I have been using, and it is free for small companies and home users. That is duosecurity.com. It is very easy to set up. I'll show you how I achieved that on an ASA file. The idea is very simple. You need a password and then you will get a message on your... Well, there is an application running on my mobile phone. And if I want to connect to my home VPN network, it is not enough to put a password. Duo Security will send a message to an application that is running on my mobile phone. It looks like that. Is that you? And literally that's the message. Are you sure you want to connect? Can you confirm that it is you? If that's the case, if I press yes, I confirm, I will be allowed to VPN to the network. This solution is user-friendly because it is on your mobile phone. A lot of people say it's not really secure because, you know, there is always a chance that someone can steal your phone or upload a Trojan or a virus on your phone. Well, if you're crazy secure, yes. Still, what you have to remember a solution that you're going to design in your network has to be as user-friendly as possible. And this is and easy to deploy. And that's what this solution is all about. I cannot argue that, uh, for instance, a small token might be more secure. Still, it's not bad because it is a two-factor authentication solution. I need a password and my mobile phone. Even if someone gets access to my mobile phone, he needs to know my password. And I am going to use SSL, which is very, very secure. I am going to show you that on the firewall. First, let's connect from, from a test laptop. That's the URL that will allow me to connect to the firewall. It is something you will get from a network team or an infrastructure engineer in your company. In most cases, you will get a DNS name, not an IP address. I'm okay with with an IP address. I will be asked to put my username and password. Not sure if you remember, I have a username Wi-Fi and here is my password that I am not going to give you because this is a real network. When I click login, please check what's going to happen. I'm not going to be allowed to VPN. It will go to the next stage and a special message will be sent down to my mobile phone. 
Here this application gives you three options. Jewel push, it is an application that is running on my mobile phone and that's my number. Phone call, it means they can call you up and passcode is a backup solution. It means that well there is always a chance that you're in a basement or somewhere where there is no range, you can't use your mobile phone and that is a passcode that can be generated on your phone and you can type it here. Let's use Jewel Push. I will click Login and let me take my mobile phone. Here we go, Login. And on my mobile phone, I will open a Jewel mobile application and in a few seconds I should, I should see a message saying that I have to confirm it is me. I approved it. It means that's me and I am allowed to connect to this portal. By the way, this is SSL VPN. That is a website a portal that you can see if you use SSL VPN clientless. To remind you from the SSL VPN section, it means that you don't need a client on your device, you can use a web browser like Firefox and see all these bookmarks and network services available for you. I have a bookmark here, I can connect to a server and to a PC. I can use many different protocols that is on on an ASA firewall, I can RDP, remote desktop protocol, and I can use VNC. Not sure if you've heard about VNC, it's a very, very popular, it's, it's a popular remote support tool. Very similar to TeamViewer, however, VNC is local, you need a server and a client. If you have never heard about VPN, sorry, VNC, I encourage you to read about that. It is a free application as well, there is tight VNC or if you want to get more features and encryption you can use for instance real VNC. There are a lot of solutions available for remote access and this is achieved by using plugins. There is a small Java application that is on, on the ASA firewall and thanks to that I can use all these services. Any connect because we have covered SSL VPNs that is a good way to to see what's going on. Any connect is a client. Yeah it will allow me to to create a tunnel with this ASA if I want to have a direct connection and it's divided into RDP and VNC services. You can access everything on the home screen dashboard. There is a dedicated video to building an SSL VPN portal on a firewall like that. It's really interesting and I encourage you to watch that because it shows you how flexible this solution is. Well, this video is about authentication. As you can see, we have been authenticated. I want to show you that on the ASA, in the logs, if we go to VPNs and this is clientless, you will see that I am connected. It will report my username, IP address, group policy that was used, protocol and I have been connected for the last three minutes. It will also show you bytes sent and received. This is like a summary, it is one 
connection only. In this video, we talked about authentication to factor authentication. I encourage you to read a little more because this is a very, very popular solution. If you go to a very secure environment, you will have a solution like that in place. You will have two factor authentication. You can have an application on a mobile phone or a small device, a token or a, a piece of software on your laptop. It all depends how your network team, how they decided to implement this solution. Thank you very much.